I mean a dress that transforms from pink to yellow. Oh my gosh, is it on fire? Oh, oh my gosh. Don't worry, it's not actually on fire. It's just my fog machine. Special effects at its finest. Anyways, I got gifted an invitation to Kids Choice Awards, which is on my 2024 vision board. So I'm more excited than, than a kid on Christmas. Yes, I did just call myself a kid. So I spent the past three days making this dress as well as melting my cutting board with my mini iron, which this sacrifice will be worth it when I wear it to the award ceremony. And since this is my first time going to any event like this, I'm really nervous that somebody's gonna notice that it's homemade. I guess the worst thing that could happen is they kick me out and they banish me from Nickelodeon forever. We're not gonna think about it. And instead, we're gonna ask my friends. And if they say they don't like it, I am really gonna burn it. A lot is riding on their opinion. Whoa! <laughs> Shut up! Hopefully she didn't mean that literally because I wasn't talking. Princess! You look like Belle! Cinderella? No, it's Bob. Spongebob. But a princess. Yeah. And after analyzing every single micro expression that they made when I showed them the dress. You made that? Yeah. That is so cute. I've officially decided I am going to wear it to the award ceremony. So I'm packing up and since I get to bring a plus one, I am bringing my best friend, Elizabeth, otherwise known as Eli. Yo, is this Uber oh. going to the Kids' Choice Award? Yeah. Can we hop in? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> no, that was not the most embarrassing thing that happened on the car ride. <laughs> what are those? What are those? <laughs> my pineapples. And then after crying, we got some snacky wackies. <laughs> That is us flits. <laughs> and after getting a couple snacks for the rest of the car ride and going to the most expensive grocery store in pineapple shoes, we finally make it to the hotel. And since I'm literally so exhausted, I barely made it. And after a horrible night's sleep, my friend wakes me up with Come on Alyssa, let's go for a run! A run? As I catch my breath trying to survive this run, I notice Alyssa, those legs need some waxing. Yeah. Why did I expect this to be relaxing? It was quite the opposite and very, very painful. And I was really scared that I wasn't actually gonna get the wax off of my legs, but then my friend was able to rip it off. Let's just say I'm a little traumatized by wax now and I don't think I'm ever gonna use it ever again. Anyways, now it's time for some pre-party preparations, otherwise known as events before the actual event, which ends up being so much fun. The amount of Spongebob themed stuff that they have here is absolutely barnacles. I dare you to rate our outfits on a scale of 1 to 10 in the comments. Hint, there's only one right answer. They also gave us soap and a towel to clean ourselves. Now I can finally wash away all of my bad decisions. <laughs> But the best part about the first event is that there's a sign that says I'm ugly and oh my gosh, Spongebob. Well, it looks like this vlog just got 10 times more absorbent and 100 times more entertaining. And now he's giving me a hug. I think I just absorbed some of his positivity. Now I'm even more excited to show him my dress tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, how incredible the rest of the day is going. Especially because now we are on our way to ride some roller coasters. If we don't make it, tell my plants I love them. <gasps> okay, good. Never mind. We made it. But it doesn't look like my hair did. <laughs> well, if you didn't think my hair looked bad yet, or even after the second time, just wait and see how it looks after this ride. I almost lost one of my new SpongeBob Crocs, though, because I didn't have it in sports mode. Thankfully, I noticed before we started the ride, because otherwise SpongeBob would be flying. <laughs> Are we spinning really fast or is the world just really excited to see us? Anyways, as I'm seeing Elizabeth's horrified face, I don't think we should be going on any more ride. Okay, this one isn't as bad, especially since we dabbed, but I think it's time to stop before my organs switch places. So we decide to go lose a lot of games. So slow. Take some pictures. <laughs> and now it's time for a serious talk. How are you upside down right now? This is the definition of hanging out. <laughs> I'm actually really nervous about wearing my dress on the carpet. As I'm talking about how nervous I am about the event and how I've been dreaming of coming to this thing since I was 10 years old, someone comes up to me and asks the event for a while. Yeah, hi. I want to subscribe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> since meeting Irene and her cousin, I start to feel so much better. And I also realized that we should probably practice. We haven't practiced at all. And it's the day of the Kids' <laughs> Choice Awards. So 
moving in an hour. But we are starting to transform the dress and we realize there's something on it. What does that say? You should do it. <laughs> like and subscribe, people. <laughs> say the drill. <laughs> Anyways, we are doing this next to a really busy road. So, so I, I hope, hope people, people don't, don't think, think that we're like taking the dress off. I guess the worst thing that they could do is honk. One eternity later. Two, three, four, five, six, five and a half seconds, people. But we gotta be faster on the carpet. And we have to be really fast right now because there is a bus that is trying to park exactly where we are filming. <laughs> Sorry, bus. Oh, this is actually the bus that is taking us to the Kids Choice Awards. So that is a plus. Also, hi. We are very up close and personal right now. I hope it doesn't make you feel awkward. We're on the bus. We're on our way. Do you think anybody's gonna notice that, that I made it? No. I hope she's not just telling me that because that's what I want to hear. Either way, we are both super excited, especially my lungs right here because I started choking on air. <laughs> I'm dying. They dropped us off in a scary back alley, but then we made it into the event and it is absolutely crazy. Not only do they have the world's biggest Spongebob, but they have cotton candy hanging from an umbrella, as well as a giant Spongebob head that you can go inside of, which has giant eyeballs. It's a little scary, not gonna lie. What could be better than serving up smiles? Aww. As long as it comes with a side of fries. <gasps> no way, they have it here too. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Sadly, SpongeBob is not showing up this time. But there is a photographer <laughs> who wants to take pictures of me in SpongeBob's head in my SpongeBob dress. I am realizing though that I definitely should have practiced my poses before this because the only one I know is smile. Smile and wave. But now it is time to show people my transforming dress and hopefully nobody can tell that it is homemade. First up, we have Triple Charm. They're so sweet. And as I'm thinking they're not going to notice that I made it myself, they then ask... Did you make it yourself? I did, yes. No way. No, did you really? <gasps> wow. That's insane. They sound shocked, but I decide to ask them if it is easy for them to tell that it's homemade. No, no. not at all. I, I literally had shocked. no idea. It looks no so idea. professional. Yes. It looks, you killed it. You killed it. Aww, that means so, so much, much, especially from them. Aww. And I know they mean it because they decided to put me in one of their shorts. I'm doing the transforming dress again. That was so much fun. Next up is the one and only Alan Chicken Chow. Yeah. Oh, oh my wow. I think he's impressed. Whoa! That was crazy! Wow! Great job! And for some reason, I thought he was going in for a second high five, but he was trying to give my dress a high five. And normally, I would feel super embarrassed, but he was so nice, so I didn't. <laughs> I love it. And next up, I have to show Squidward. Looks like a pretty normal dress. Oh, Squidward, just wait and see. Just wait and see. No. No. What? This is crazy. You look like my neighbor, SpongeBob. Oh. You know I forgot for a second that I was dressed like Spider-Man. Hey, my roommate made a transforming dress. Really? Yeah, it catches on fire and it turns color. That kind of sounds dangerous, yeah. but why do I really want to try to make it? Lastly, we have the most important person at this entire event, SpongeBob SquarePants. He doesn't speak though, so I really don't know what he thought, but I'm going to take this as a win because the only people that asked if I made it was Triple Charm. Anyways, I wasn't actually in the arena or on the orange carpet for the Kids' Choice Awards, but they did have this giant viewing section that we were able to watch it on and a spying area. But either way, I had so much fun. Thank you so much for inviting me, Nickelodeon. And maybe next year I'll attend the actual. Thing. Hopefully they wouldn't ask me to see.